what you said about uh, the U.S. agreeing to put a response in writing. Are you saying that the world should not view that as the United States making a concession to Russia? I think you should see what it has to say, but it's part of a negotiation. We've been very clear about what we are not negotiating on, which is the sovereignty of Ukraine, which is this question that is continuously raised about Ukraine's right to pursue uh, joining NATO. That's up to NATO countries to make that decision. And you've heard the President, so Tony Blinken and others, say time after time that we are not making any decisions about Ukraine without Ukraine, no decisions about Europe without Europe. Uh, but negotiating takes many forms. Uh, it takes forms where you're in person. It takes forms where there's an exchange of written materials. That's pretty standard and has been in diplomacy for decades. I know you've been asked something similar, but yesterday again, uh, Minority Leader McConnell said that the U.S. should send forces to shore up NATO's eastern flank, not if and when Putin escalates, but now before it's too late. What is your response? Why, why wait? Well, first of all, we work uh, in close coordination with our NATO partners and allies uh, and, and in response to what their needs are. We've been very clear, and the President's been clear, that we will support whatever their needs are, should they have security needs, but I don't have anything more to predict for you at this point in time. If I may ask one quick question.